<laughs> we have Miss Jezebel here. She's going to be showing us what to do on the swing for your elementary age children. We're just going to warm up with some standard swinging. She's going to be pumping back and forth. So let's see it. She's going to back up and swing front and back. This is still great for their coordination, awesome for their core, holding themselves up. They love it. Good job. And then we're gonna go to our next exercise. Jezebel, you can stand behind the swing. Thank you. You're gonna have your child reach up as high as they can, step onto the swing. You should be holding it for stability. Then they can reach their hands up even higher, as high as they can. This will help them stay secure. And you're gonna help them pump forward. You can push your belly out and back in, pumping yourself forward. Very good. Then holding on tightly, they're going to lift their knees up and try to find the swing again. So you can hold the swing stable. So lift your feet up to the, your belly, lift your knees. Yep. Yep. And down. Nice job. Just like that. And keep swinging. They can lower their hands and then step down to come down. Step down behind you. Good work. And our last skill is the Superman. So you can come back behind. Jezebel's going to put her belly button right on the swing. Keep her arms out in front of her and try to keep her body super straight. This is great for her back. Good job. Try to keep those legs out straight behind you. This really engages all of those main muscle groups. Nice job, it's hard. Good work, Jezebel. All right, my buddy Jack here and I are gonna do the bird's nest. What Jack is gonna do is he's gonna hold the rings with both of his hands. I'm gonna help support him with the bunny ear lock grip. Jack is gonna pick up his feet, two feet, Gonna have him engage in his core muscles as well as his upper body strength. He's gonna lock his feet inside the rings. I'm gonna help support his back as I push his bottom, as I flip his body over, and he makes the bird's nest. To get out of that, you can go one of two ways. You can take your feet out, you're gonna sandwich them as they come back around, or you can push them frontwards. For our next skill with Jezebel, we're gonna be doing what's called a skin the cat. Jezebel, can you hold the rings for me? Can you hold them on the outside? We're going to encourage her to hold the rings on the outside. We're going to wrap our fingers around her wrist and put our pointer and our middle on top for support. Jezebel, can you lift your legs up? She'll be engaging her core muscles as she lifts her toes to the sky. I'm going to put my hand on her stomach to support her as she flips her body right over. Nice job. She's engaging her core muscles there as well as her upper body strength. Our last skill is our front support. Jezebel's gonna hold on to the rings. Can you push up for me? One, two, three, and push. Push, 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 push. Make your arms really straight. It's a great challenge for them. And we'll hold it for three seconds and come back down. All right, hey Jezebel, we are gonna get started on our rope ladder. So you can swing around to the back of here. For our first skill for our elementary age children, they are going to climb up and sit on this second top bar right here. So I want you to hold on. Jill has her foot here, keeping it stable. Once they get comfortable, you can add a challenge and let go of your foot. It's going to swing a lot. Perfect, Jezebel. Swing those feet right through. Sit on top and swing front and back and side to side. Nice job. All right, we are here with our rope ladder attachment and my lovely assistant. What's your name, bud? Jack. Jack. Jack's going to be helping us with the rope ladder. So, Jack, you can scoot around to the back. This is for your older children, um, elementary school age challenges. So, Jack's going to climb up our ladder. And the first thing we're going to have you do is end up sitting on this bar, okay? Yeah, you got it. Up, up, up. Nice. And then once they're at this bar, so they need you to step your foot up, they're going to scoot their knees so that the bar is right underneath the knees. And you're going to use your hand behind their back to help them lower all the way down to the floor with their hands. You got it. So let go and lean back. Whoa. Whoa. They're going to be hanging upside down just like this. Awesome job. Make your hands flat. From here, they can walk out. So they can actually flip their feet right across. Your arm's gonna be across their belly just like a seat belt. Can you bring your feet, flip your feet out, out, out. And just watch their head as they come back up. Awesome job, bud. Good, huh? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is Jezebel. She told me she's 700 years old. How old are you? Seven years old. All right, we're gonna start by hanging on our trapeze. So Jezebel, you can scoop back. Turn around, she's gonna be holding onto these inside handles and just warming up, hanging, swinging. Awesome, Jezebel. And you're gonna encourage them to keep their arms straight. I know, it's kinda of harder that way. Nice, and pump their body back and forth. Once they get the hang of that, you're gonna be holding them right by their core and switching their hands. So they're gonna walk their hands from the inside to the outside, one at a time. Nice. Just like Jill, you're gonna be holding them right at their waist. 
Good job, Jasbel. Can you do it one more time? Super strong. Awesome. And back together. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, for our next skill, we're gonna have our child sitting on top. So Jezebel, you're gonna hold on to these outside handles. You're gonna keep your arms nice and straight again and bring your body down low, lift your feet up. You're gonna encourage your child to lift your feet, their feet up to the bar. Up and under. And they're gonna go up and under. With your support, they're gonna hook their feet over and you're gonna lift them up. They're gonna hold on to these ropes and end up sitting right on top. Awesome work, Jezebel. You ready to go upside down? Cueing back. All right, so now once they're comfortable up there, you're gonna hold on to their ankles with your hand, and you're gonna put your other arm behind their back to support them as they lean back down. Jill's super strong. She'll hold on to you the whole time. Ready? One, two, you got it. Nice, Jezebel, right upside down. I gotcha. You can see how slowly Jill goes. Your child's gonna be pretty apprehensive about this. So you're gonna support them the whole time. Reach up, up, up and back to sitting. Awesome job, Jezebel. To come down, they're gonna go up back down the same way they came up. You're gonna hold on to these green handles. Yep, you got it, one. Jill's right there. You're gonna be supporting them behind their back. And back down. <laughs> nice, and now come back out. Good, and down. <laughs> nice work, Jezebel. That's our trapeze. So here we have Miss Jezebel showing us what to do on our jungle rope for our elementary aged children. The first thing we're gonna do is have your child climb all the way up and to the bars. So Jezebel, you're gonna show us how. You're gonna go hand over hand. Just like Jill, you're gonna be spotting if your child needs it. Reach right here at the bar. At the bar, you're gonna encourage them to do a little pull up. So you're gonna push, push, push. See if you can get your chin to the bar and back down. See if you can do three. Two, just like Jill, your hands will be right here and three. Nice, and then they can jump down. Climb down, nice work. Climbing down is really tricky for them, so that's an awesome challenge. And now for our next skill, Jezebel, you are gonna try to hang upside down on this rope. So you're gonna have them reach up as high as they can and lift their feet. Their hands won't go any higher. Yeah, you got it, lift your feet up. And they're gonna try to engage their core enough to lift their toes. You're gonna help them. Their toes are gonna cross in front, so they'll be able to hook on and see how low you can drop your body. Nice, Jezebel, very good. Awesome job. And then she's gonna sit back up again, engaging that core, unhook her legs, and come back down. Nice job. All right, so for our last skill, Jezebel is going to climb up. She's gonna reach her hands right over this knot here and she's going to swing. She's gonna swing and then try to jump down. You can have a spot on the floor or just make the goal landing on your feet. And you're gonna spot this one pretty carefully. So Jezebel, can you climb up so your hands are over that knot? You got it. Yeah, it's mostly your hands here. She's gonna hold on, and then you're gonna take the rope and take it out from between their legs. You got it. So they can swing. Can you put your hand over that knot? And you're gonna help them swing back and forth. Nice, Jezebel. And you're gonna try to get them to jump down and land right on their feet. One, two, and three. Awesome job. So supported just like that, you can challenge them more as they get more comfortable with the skill.